Hello everyone. Welcome to Panisha Tutor. Today in this video we are going to discuss the most important and expected questions from the research aptitude section for UGC NET JRF paper 1. Ji ha. Is video mein hum kuch important questions discuss karne wale hain jo hum research aptitude section mein se expect kar sakte hain UGC NET JRF paper 1. तो आइए देखते हैं कि वो इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस क्या हैं। इस वीडियो के जरिए हमें ये भी पता चलेगा कि रिसर्च एप्टीट्यूड के वो कौन से सेक्शंस हैं जिन पर हमें ज्यादा फोकस करना है स्पेसिफिकली यूजीसी नेट पेपर वन में सक्सेस हासिल करने के लिए जैसा कि आप देख पा रहे हैं सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन है अ रिसर्चर इज इंटरेस्टेड इन स्टडिंग द प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर पोलिटिकल पार्टी इन एन अर्बन एरिया वॉट टूल should he prefer for the study and the options are option 1 rating scale option 2 interview option 3 questionnaire or option 4 schedule and the correct answer is option 3 questionnaire a researcher who is interested in studying the prospects of a particular political party in an urban area he or she should use questionnaire as a tool or as a preferable tool for the study next question is related to research method and the question says a researcher intends to explore the effect of possible factors for the organization of effective midday meal interventions which research method will be most appropriate for this study and the options are option 1 historical method option 2 descriptive survey method option 3 experimental method or option 4 ex post facto method and the correct answer is option 4 ex post facto method a researcher who intends to explore the effects of possible factors for the organization of effective midday meal interventions should use ex post facto method next question is related to thesis writing and the question says the format of thesis writing is the same as in option 1 preparation of research paper or article option 2 writing of seminar presentation option 3 a research dissertation or option 4 presenting a workshop or conference paper and the correct answer is option 3 a research dissertation the format of thesis writing is the same as in it, as in a research dissertation so hence the correct answer is option 3 next question is related to research ethics and the question says from the following list of statements identify the set which has negative implications for research ethics and the options given are option 1 a researcher critically looks at the findings of another research option 2 related studies are cited without proper references option 3 research findings are made the basis for policy making option 4 conduct of practitioner is screened in terms of reported research evidences option 5 a research study is replicated with a view to verify the evidences from other researchers or option 6 both policy making and policy implementing processes are regulated in terms of preliminary studies to hamare samne six options di hui hain hame ab choose karna hai आगे जो कोड्स दिए हुए हैं उसके अकॉर्डिंग करेक्ट आंसर क्या होगा ऑप्शन वन सेज दैट द करेक्ट आंसर माइट बी वन टू एंड थ्री ऑप्शन टू सेज द करेक्ट आंसर माइट बी टू थ्री एंड फोर एंड ऑप्शन थ्री सेज द करेक्ट आंसर माइट बी सेकंड फोर्थ एंड सिक्स ऑप्शन फोर सेज द करेक्ट आंसर माइट बी वन थ्री और फाइव एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री विच इज सेकेंड फोर्थ एंड सिक्स स्टेटमेंट हैज नेगेटिव इम्प्लीकेशन फॉर रिसर्च एथिक्स तो अगर हम क्वेश्चन को ध्यान से पढ़ें वहां पे ये पूछा गया कि इनमें से कौन सी स्टेटमेंट्स माइट हैव अ नेगेटिव इंप्लीकेशन फॉर रिसर्च एथिक्स तो वो स्टेटमेंट्स हैं ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री में जो दी हुई है सेकंड फोर्थ एंड सिक्स स्टेटमेंट्स हेंस द करेक्ट आंसर इज आंसर थ्री फॉर ऑनलाइन वीडियो कोर्स और लाइव इंटरक्टिव क्लासेस ज्वाइन पनीशा ट्यूटर डॉट कॉम वी प्रोवाइड कोचिंग फॉर डिफरेंट कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम सच एज यू जी सी नेट जे आर एफ एस एस सी एग्जाम्स बैंक एग्जाम्स एंड वेरियस अदर स्टेट एंड सेंट्रल लेवल गवर्नमेंट जॉब एग्जाम्स वी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड कोचिंग फॉर वेरियस यू जी एंड पी जी बेस्ड एडमिशन एंट्रेंस टेस्ट वी प्रोवाइड कंप्लीट क्वालिटी वीडियो लेक्चर्स पी डी एफ नोट्स 
MCQs and online mock test series. We also provide Zoom interactive online classes. For more information, visit panishatutor.com or you can also see our demo lectures or demo videos on our YouTube channel. Next question is related to type of research and the question says, The principal of a school conducts an interview session of teachers and students with a view to explore the possibility of their enhanced participation in school programs. This endeavor may be related to which type of research? Option 1. Evaluation research. Option 2. Fundamental research. Option 3. Action research. Or option 4. Applied research. And the correct answer in this case is action research. So action research which is option 3 is the correct answer for this question. Next question is related to sequence of research steps and the question says which sequence of research steps is logical in the list given below? Option 1. Problem formulation, analysis, development of research design, hypothesis making, collection of data, arriving at generalizations and conclusions. Or option 2. Development and research design, hypothesis making, problem formulation, data analysis, arriving at conclusions and data collection. Or option 3. Problem formulation, hypothesis making, development of research design, collection of data, data analysis and formulation of generalizations and conclusions. Or option 4. Problem formulation, deciding about the simple and data collection tools, formulation of hypothesis, collection and interpretation of research evidence. Now, we have to tell you what is the correct sequence of research steps. Like logically, what is the correct sequence? And the correct answer is option 3, which is the correct sequence is problem formulation, hypothesis making, development of research design, collection of data, data analysis and formulation of generalizations and conclusions. Hence, the option 3 is the correct one for this question. Next question is related to issue of research ethics. And the question says, the issue of research ethics may be considered pertinent at which stage of research? Option 1, at the stage of problem formulation and its definition. Option 2, at the stage of defining the population of research. Option 3, at the stage of data collection and interpretation. Or option 4, at the stage of reporting the findings. And the correct answer is option 3, which is at the stage of data collection and interpretation. So the issue of research ethics is considered pertinent at the stage of data collection and interpretation. Hence, the correct answer is option 3. Next question says, which of the following research types focuses on ameliorating the prevailing situations? And the options are 1. Fundamental research, number 2. Applied research, number 3. Action research, and number 4. Experimental research. And the correct answer is 3. Action research. Correct. Action research is the correct option here. Next question says, in which of the following arrangements a wider spectrum of ideas and issues may be made possible. The options given are option 1, research article, option 2, workshop mode, option 3, conference or option 4, symposium. And the correct answer is option 3 which is conference. In the next question type we can see that the two sets are given, set 1 which specifies the type of research and set 2 which indicates the characteristics. We need to match the two and give our answers accordingly by selecting the appropriate codes. So uh, I'll read out the set one research types first. A is fundamental research, B is applied research, C is action research and D is evaluative research. And the characteristics given in set two are in this order. One, finding out the extent of perceived impact of an intervention. Two, developing an effective explanation through theory building. Three, Improving an existing situation through use of interventions and four exploring the possibility of a theory for use in various situations Fifth enriching technological resources. So there are two sets given below set one specifies the type of research While set two indicates the characteristics We need to match the two and give our answer by selecting the appropriate codes The codes are mentioned on the screen and answer one is the correct answer for this question Next question is again related to sequence of research steps 
and the question says which of the following sequences of research steps is nearer to the scientific method and the options given are option 1 suggested solution of the problem deducing the consequences of the solution perceiving the problem situation location of the difficulty and testing the solutions option 2 perceiving the problem situation locating the actual problem and its definition hypothe hypothesizing deducing the consequences of the suggested solution and testing the hypothesis in action the option 3 defining a problem identifying the causes of the problem defining a population drawing a sample collecting data and analyzing result option 4 identifying the causal factors defining the problem developing a hypothesis selecting a sample collecting data and arriving at generalizations and conclusions now we need to analyze the question and the options and then we need to come at the conclusion that among all the following options which sequence of research step is nearer to scientific method the correct answer here is option 3 which is the correct sequence is defining a problem identifying the causes of the problem defining a population drawing a sample and collecting data and analyzing results so this sequence of research steps is nearer to a scientific method next question is related to creative and critical thinking and the question says in which of the following activities potential for nurturing creative and critical thinking is relatively greater and the options are option one preparing research summary option two presenting a seminar paper option three participation in research conference or option four participation in a workshop and the correct answer is option four participation in a workshop so that is one activity where the potential for nurturing creative and critical thinking is relatively greater as compared to other situations so hence the correct answer is option four next question is related to participatory research and the question says which of the following statements is not true in the context of participatory research option one it recognizes knowledge is power option two it emphasizes on people as experts option three it is a collective process of inquiry or option four its sole purpose is production of knowledge and the correct answer is option four its sole purpose is production of knowledge so this statement is not true in the context of participatory research next question is related to ethical norms in research and the question says ethical norms in research do not involve guidelines for one thesis format two copyright three patenting policy or four data sharing policy and the correct answer is one thesis format so ethical norms in research do not involve guidelines for option one thesis format that's the correct answer next question is related to mandatory requirement for pursuing research the question says which of the following is an initial mandatory requirement for pursuing research option one developing a research design option two formulating a research question option three deciding about the data analysis procedure or option four formulating a research hypothesis and the correct answer is option two formulating a research question this is an initial mandatory requirement for pursuing research that is to form a research question hence the correct answer is option two so jaisa ki aapne dekha ki humne is video mein kuch important questions discuss kiye hain from the research aptitude section from the point of view of UGC net paper 1 in questions ko samajh kar dekh kar hum is cheez ka andaza laga sakte hain ki paper ke kareeb hame research aptitude section mein se kaun se important topics par zyada focus karna hai kin topics ko zyada revise karna hai paper se pehle to isse hum ek idea ho jayega taki hum usi tarike se apni preparation strategy bana sake i hope ye video aapki padhai mein aapki madad karegi isi tarike ki interesting and informative videos ko dekhne ke liye सब्सक्राइब कीजिए पनीशिया ट्यूटर के चैनल को एंड ऑल्सो हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स इस वीडियो को शेयर कीजिए लाइक कीजिए और साथ ही साथ इन सभी क्वेश्चंस को ध्यान से एनालाइज कीजिए और देखिए कि किन सेक्शंस में से क्वेश्चंस आए हैं ताकि आप उसी तरीके से पेपर के लिए रेडी हो सके आई होप ये वीडियो आपकी प्रिपरेशन में आपको मदद करेगी वी विल कीप कमिंग अप विद मोर सच इम्पोर्टेंट वीडियो टिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड कीप वर्किंग हार्ड इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव योर एम थैंक यू